Hey y'all, welcome back to Crisis Monday. So today we have here Lego Lobot, the original version. I think there have been like, there's another version of him, but this is obviously the best because it's the original. The original always, the, the original is always the best. Take that prequels. Anyway, um, you know, um, just to, before we start, he came with another walkie talkie, but this is just the standard edition. I don't really think I need to talk about this too much. And if you want to see the set this came in, I'll be releasing a set review later today. So just make sure to check it out. I'll maybe even put up a card, or if I'm feeling lazy, I won't. But just go take a look in my channel feed or something. So anyway, let's start taking a look at him. So when you first take a look at his torso, it's this gray color that Lego doesn't make anymore. He's got a utility belt and some pockets. Not a whole lot going on, just some good, um, just some, like, I don't know, good lines on his torso, I guess. It's a pretty detailed torso, I would say, for the time. He's got tannish arms and then sleeves. No lead printing. Nothing on the back. But what really sets this minifigure apart for most is the printing on the back of his head, which was not very common for Lego at the time, because I think, like, the first time they ever printed someone with uh, printing on the back of their head was, like, Voldemort, when they had to put it on the back of Professor Quayle's head, so, yeah, that's the first time, this wasn't too, that, um, too far after that, so this was pretty good, and I really like this design, however, I'm not sure it was so accurate to what the robots actually look like on the back of his head, but it still looks incredibly cool if you want to, like, turn this around and make this, like, a space robot and use this as his face instead of that, but, and then when you look at his actual face, he looks pretty chill, he's got... Sort of like a little eyebrows and a short little curved smile. So it looks he's looking pretty chill. Our, or however, I've never actually seen him smile in the movies. So I'm not really sure that he actually looks like this. But anyway, it's a good figure nonetheless, from my opinion. And um Yeah, he came in dang it. Oh, let's look at the sets that Lobot came in. So Lobot came in one set known as Lego Cloud City Cloud Car. I'm doing a review on this, so if you want to see it, go take a look at my um, newest video, or the, just the newer one if you're watching this later. Anyway, y'all, thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you thought of the video down in the comments, and um, like this video and subscribe, please. Thank you. I'll see you all later in the next video. <laughs>